Railway Christmas Invasion. Today was Half Woman's Eve. A Christmas like holiday, and all the ponies were all excited for their ascent. Even the engines of Sodor were excited for Christmas. We're gonna get some awesome presents. Hi, Mommy's Eve is here again. Show with making a show. There are lots of fun to do, so okay? There's a good thing for a new coat of paint. Not one drop of messes and... Hey, Percy. Ready to celebrate your first heartwarming eve here in Ponyville? I was thinking I might just skip it. <gasps> Why, Percy? Percy, what's wrong? Skip heartwarming eve? I just find it all a little silly. Besides, it's not even like a Christmas-like holiday. It's mostly a day dedicated to presents. But, Percy, there's not another thing to think about Christmas, too. Thomas is right, Percy. It's not, it, there's nothing wrong with Christmas or Hearthworms Eve. Yeah, and Christmas is not only, a, not only about presents. Christmas is a time to come together. I think what Spike means to say is, heartwarming is about more than presents and candy. Just like how Christmas is a time to come together, right? To most ponies, it's just an excuse for silly songs and fun. Not a day to remember some old story. But except on Sodor. Maybe you just haven't heard the right heartwarming Eve story yet. Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns sing songs around the hearth to fight back an eternal winter caused by the mythical Windigos. <laughs> Every foal in Philly knows that story. Like when Twilight told you, Thomas. Did she? Not that one. My favorite holiday. And me and Twilight have my, our favorite hearth but Christmas stories and hearthwarming one. Hearth swarming tale. And how the Grinch stole Christmas. Ooh, I love that one. Even the Grinch! The Grinch? Yeah, James is a Grinch. No, I'm not. Nah, I'm only kidding. Hey, Twilight, I guess what? What, Thomas? What if you and I combine two stories together? That way it'll cheer Percy up. Oh, that's a very good idea, Thomas. We can call it Railway Christmas Invasion. Railway Christmas Invasion? Oh, very well. Story of a powerful unicorn named Snowfall Frost. Yep, even even James is featured in it, like how we asked him. But but like where he's acting a, li a little bit, well, silly and mean and horrid. James is never like that sometimes. Who hated heartwarming Eve? Even Christmas. It all began many moons ago in Canterlot. 
Once upon a time, in the in the in one in the once ago castle, every pony was getting ready for Hearth Woman's Eve. Even every pony was was feeling ready. Even for the Hearth Woman special. There you go, Tongus. The last Christmas truck. About time. Where were you, Pe Perry? Just finding this last truck that of Christmas decorations like you asked for. Perfect. Now with that thing taking up space in our yard, we would have it much for the for the better. All right, Miss Rainbow, do your thing. <laughs> you Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, you truculent space pumpkin! You crushed it! Nah, it's all just a simple accident, Perry. However, high up in the mountains, 3,000 feet up, up at the side near the mountains, James, a splendid red Horrid, uh, Joker didn't like the Christmas stuff. Oh, oh, this Christmas spirit's always around. And this, everything's all what Christmas is all about, isn't it? Gifts and gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Look, I don't want to make waves to everyone down there. But this whole Christmas season is stop it, stop it, stop it. There is, however, one teeny tiny Christmas tradition I find quite meaningful. Mistletoes. And they're disgusting. So, whatever the reason, his, his heart, or anything else, or the tip of his splendid red paintwork, or anything different of the Christmassy thing, he stood outside his cave, hating everyone. So, to prophetically. Professor Starlight. Perry? I hate you. Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. And the longer he thought of the Christmassy sting, the more he thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for too many 3,000 years I put up with it now. I must stop Christmas and Half Woman's Eve from coming. But how? I know. I'll find someone to choose as my slave. For one of them. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late, James. Oh, that's all right, Spike T Dragon. Because I've got a plan. <clears throat> What's the plan? Um, I'm not sure. Then he got an idea. An awful idea. <laughs> James got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. So, whatever the reason, he took he took one piece of of something. He took some red thread. 
he took he took a piece of wood he took one piece of something and then he tied a big horn on top of spike t dragon's head <laughs> all right spike t dragon you're a reindeer Here's a motivation. Your name is Rudolph. You're the freak with the red nose and nobody likes you. Then one day, Santa Claus picks you and you save Christmas and Hearth Woman's Eve across so, so, so the question, yeah. No, forget that. Yes, tickler and ticklessy. You hate those holidays. You're going to steal it. Cut, print, ship the gate, moving on. So James found a truck that he could use for his trip. But the coupling was too small. But luckily he managed to find it to attach on, thankfully. On Crusher Horn for Russia! On Bombard and Retreat! Let's go and steal Christmas! So James and Spike T Dragon set out into into the south coast of Cantalot to steal all the things of Christmas in Sodquestria. All right, we've reached our first stop. Now, Spike T-Dragon, you take out of this truck and I'm finding something. Everything. Uh, it's probably just useless. Shush! So... James climbed up the roof that was to lay down to the chimney box. But it was too small. But if Santa could do it, then so could James. Okay. He got stuck only once. For a moment or two. Blast it, what a wait. Goes right to my hips. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue. A little more stealth, please. With the little old stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first thing to go. Okay, fellas. Shall I? James, he even took their last can of spam cans. He stuffed all the food up the chimney with clean. E <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Grinned, Doc J. 
James. I will take this pole that's supposed to be for the tree. The, as, then James grabbed the pen. And he was about to take it when he heard the small sound like the coo of a dog. Hello? <laughs> <sighs> James had been caught by this tiny little unicorn who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. Santa Claus! What are you doing with our tree? But you know, that old James was so smart and so slick. <coughs> he thought of a lie and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little friend, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light up on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop. Have no fear. I'll fix it up there and I'll bring it back here. I didn't know you did that. Yeah, now why don't you go back upstairs to bed and when the tree's all fixed up, up in the morning, you can go down and rush for your toys with your friends. And his fib fooled that unicorn. And the ponies in our lives. Then he, then he signed her a lullaby which sent her to bed. Nice kid. Seems like a soul soul type of movie that's different but the, it's are a bit disturbing like ladybug ladybug fly away home your house is on fire your children are gone i hate that one too but you know and when cindy lou no i mean <gasps> and when professor cindy no professor starlight glimmer went up with her cup nice kid James, James. And the last thing he took was the log for their fire. On their walls he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he'd left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then James did the same thing to the other steam engines and every pony's homes, and he took every present. Oh, no. What? Clarence Sale, ever then must go. Have you ever kissed a man who lost his tonsils twice? No. Silly. Oh. <laughs> but it's an experience that I've always longed for. Kiss me, you fool.
Nearly there. What are you laughing at, Rudolph? <laughs> Onward, my slave! Three thousand feet up, up the side of Coldy Fell, he rode with his load straight through the hills, over the hills and the mountains. It felt like unforgiving sea, waves like mountains. Any piece may fall down, but, but that James didn't seem to care. Instead, he, he and Spike just rode with their loads up the side of Coldy Fell to, tip, to the tip top to dump it. We did it! We did it! We did it! That wasn't so bad, was it, little Spike? I... I... I don't know. Oh, well. Ugh. Okay. Oh well. At least these engines and ponies will be waking up soon down there anyway. And now I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hide open in a minute or two, and then those engines and ponies down there will all cry boo hoo. But what James and Spike didn't know was that was were they whilst whilst they weren't looking. The truck started to roll away all by itself. <laughs> Sooner or later, James and Spike didn't seem to look, but the trucks full of boxes, decorations, tinsels, and bags started to roll away all by their cell itself. But, but, when James was still going around, laughing as he went, <laughs> Spike saw what happened, so he flew down with his wings to try to stop it. I've got to get them back up! <laughs> Meanwhile, all the engines and ponies were all gathering around questioning what happened to their stuff. Who could have taken our stuff? Whatever it was, it would have been differently who took them and left. What about our celebration tonight? I know. But what about our presents? What about everything? What about Christmas? Half Woman's Eve and Sotquestria? <laughs> That's enough, every pony. 
why do you protest so, darling? Because Christmas is not all about presents or boxes or anything. Christmas is a time to come together. Even if it might mean it's a special day where everyone gets presents. But I'm glad whoever stole Christmas because Christmas is a time to come together. Tongus is right. It's if I don't care about it. In some distress, words so careless, standing there, you don't know what to do. Feeling helpless, you can't make it hopeless, so you go and change your point of view. And in that moment, though you didn't know it, your defense is set up walls you built to last, leading to the pony you become today. Huh? Guys! Guys, do you hear that? What do you hear, Charles? Listen! But they were listening until... <laughs> Oh, goodness me! I didn't realize it was supposed to snow! That's not snow! It's... it's... Oh, I'm decorating! What? Oh, dear! We can't celebrate Christmas like this invasion! What will Principal Sparkle say when she hears about this? Oh, 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 goodness. But there's our tinsels, books, boxes, and bags. They're all back, but who, whoever did it is different from all of those. <sighs> Hi, guys, I'm here. <laughs> huh? Who on earth are you? Spike T Dragon? Spike T Dragon? Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Ooh. And in case if you're all wondering, in case if you're all are wondering, I know who stole your Christmas. Who? James did. Oh, the indignity. So he's the reason for causing all of this Christmas invasion? This wasn't a Christmas invasion, though. No. Gordano. It's Gordon, actually. Yeah. So, Spike, any reason why James Dunn did this? Well, maybe it's because he hated the Christmassy sting. Why? What's he been through? It just happened 3,000 years ago. Probably before he, anything else happened. I see. I mean, we see. How did this happen? <laughs> and now... Grins James. Now for the job of dirty duel, not niceness. But as he was about, but, but as he turned around, he couldn't see the truck anywhere. It was gone. What? Where? Where is it? Where's the truck? Where'd it go? <sighs> then, James looked over. What is that? It was singing. He, he could hear it wide and wide. All the engines and ponies down there, the tall and the small, were singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or sooner, everything just seemed to go different. But how did Christmas come? It came without utensils. It came without books. It came without fruit, vegetables, 
toys, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then James thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. I'm all toasty inside and I'm leaking I've got to tell Spike about this uh, Spike, where are you? Spike, where are you? You're not missing, are you? Huh? Oh He's probably gone down to join the celebration. Well, so should I! So James went down to the village that, uh, that his friends went to. I mean, that Spike went to. The presents, they'll be destroyed when I find them, and I care! Ugh. Hey, is that him? Yeah, I think so. We can't let him get away! Everyone, corner him! Right. I'm here! Right. What is going on here? Yes, J James. Your pen pal Spike told us everything on how he helped you steal everything. All right. All right. I did it. It was me. I'm the exact engine that stole Christmas from all of you. And I'm sorry. Aren't you all going to cuff me? Wrap me as a present? Um, throw bricks at me into my face? Blind me with pepper spray? You heard him. He admitted it quick. Percy, give me a pepper spray. Yes, score, Dino. We heard him. He said he was sorry. And I think he's learned his lesson. It's awesome! So come get some eggnog! And from then on, it was always said of all the hearts warming Eve celebrations, Snowballs was the hearts warming. Well, Percy, how did you like it? It, it was amazing. Hello, everybody. Did I miss anything? Oh, hi, James. What was going on for your mind, Percy? He was just down with holiday blues. Holiday blues? Hmm, huh. never knew that. No, it wasn't. You didn't hear it. No, but me and Twilight decided to combine something between Twi me and Twilight's favourite stories. How the Grinch stole Christmas and a hearth woman's tale. And, and, how, and how you stole the Christmas from Sod Sodor and Equestria in this story. Did I? Well, only in the story, but not reality, James. Okay. And Spike even helped you. So, Percy, are you happy now? Yes, Twilight, I am. 
So did I really steal Christmas and the story? Yeah, and Spike was in it too. And how he helped you. And how you had the change of heart into goodness. Oh, um, did I? Yes. So it's definite. Yes. Okay. That makes sense now. Well, what are we waiting for, Percy? Let's go and sing some carols. Come on. Come on, James. Or else you could stay behind. No! I want to come too! Wait for me!